Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dix coming back at you with a in the field interview. I am with the lovely Shakira Lewis. Shakira <laughs> Lewis and I am I am in Houston, Texas. Not gonna reveal my location, but I am in the great city of Houston, Texas. And I saw Shakira downstairs while I was eating lunch in the hotel and I decided to interview her. I have told many of y'all, if you're in your area, and if I'm in your area, you never know where I may pull up on you, as we call it, in the country for South Carolina, and interview you, interview you about how the world is going, specifically with artificial intelligence and automation. So, Shakira, tell us about yourself, a little bit where you're from, etc. So, I'm from Houston. I was raised here and also in Louisiana. Um, I have over five to seven years of customer service experience. Mm -hmm. um, in high school, I did robotics. I was going to school for computer science, but now I teach myself to code on the side. And I also work in tech. So, yeah, I'm excited to discuss a little bit more on this topic. All right. Well, we appreciate you joining in us joining us for the interview. So, Shakir, we're going to start over again with y'all. We had a little technical <laughs> di issue. What do you think artificial, intelli artificial intelligence is? And when you first heard that term, what came to your mind? Uh, when I first heard of artificial intelligence, honestly, I didn't know what to think about it until I started seeing like um, it on social media. Mm -hmm. It got a lot of traction quick, um, mm -hmm. especially like with the AI, like humans that mm -hmm. they were like making. Um, that was like really shaking up everyone. I thought that was crazy. And I was like, wow, we're really entering like the future, like the dystopian, the innovative technology. I think it's really crazy. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's interesting. And they are very smart. Good. <laughs> now, let me ask you, since you're in the tech field and you're teaching yourself on the side how to code, are you afraid of artificial intelligence? I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it. I just hope that it is controlled. Mm -hmm. That's that's where I would like to see some type of structure. Because, you know, it, I'm sure it can help in a lot of different ways, mm -hmm. a lot of different fields and things like that. But I know this is a little silly, but we've Go all ahead. seen the movies and we all seen like mm -hmm. how things glitch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I just hope that it's controlled. When you say it's control, could you give us a little bit more details on it? Yeah, basically, like, um, I don't want to take it to a point where the technology is like mm -hmm. acting on autopilot mm -hmm. without, like, this without the server. If that makes sense. Yeah. Like, you know, just start thinking on its mm -hmm. own. You know, and we don't need any of that okay. <laughs> in our uh, future right now. So. Okay, so let me ask you. You have family members. Are they aware? Of art, are they aware of artificial intelligence and automation? You know, automation is automating a process like something was going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are your family members? You being a young black woman yourself, you know, since a lot of my content it covers everyone, but specifically with the black community, I want to hear from you out of your mouth. What do you think about artificial intelligence? Excuse me. You've already uh, answered that question. Your family members. When it comes to artificial intelligence, what have you heard come out of their mouths about it? Honestly, um, it's not talked about that much. I don't think it's a big, they're mm -hmm. not as intrigued in the conversation until something like wild happens and it's all over social media. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no one is really thinking about it or paying you no mind. We're just worrying about like what's trending, you know, mm -hmm. what's in the news, mm -hmm. things of the sort. So. So from this interview to this evening, if you were to go home and ask your family members about artificial intelligence, what do you think they would say? I think they would just say like robots or like Tesla. Mm -hmm. That's probably it. That's they would they just kind of name like the tech places, but I don't think they know anything specifically about how it works and the things that they do, things that's like working on of mm -hmm. the sort. Okay, so another follow-up question. Have you heard other folks outside of your community talk about artificial intelligence? Outside of your immediate family members, cousins, uh, relatives, etc. What other folks have you heard talk about artificial intelligence? Um, just like co-workers. Like, they would say things like, um, you know, just how wild things are. Like, the Tesla truck just came out. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll talk about how people drive around with, like, VR headsets and things of the sort. Mm -hmm. And how crazy things are becoming mm -hmm. um also like back whenever there was like a movie like a robot movie that just came out recently with ai robot or something with a robot ai mm -hmm. and they were like thinking on their own and took over and like so they had like ai robots in the stadiums or whatever not familiar with that one. Oh really no. yeah look it up i yeah. heard it i thought you were referring to the movie megan 
no 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 not megan uh -huh. yeah people were like going crazy over that they're like this is so crazy like i can't believe like yeah it's doing that basically they were like saying similar things like they just hope that it doesn't get like out of control and things mm -hmm. like it just kind of works on autopilot because that Scary. So let's go back to autopilot. So in other words, you would like to see regulations put in place to prevent auto to prevent artificial intelligence from doing what it is doing. No, definitely. But it's I feel like it's a very great area because tech is so mm -hmm. it it's not like black and white. Mm -hmm. You can do your best, but technology is constantly innovating. Like mm -hmm. you just never know how to like mm -hmm. specifically make one thing only do one thing if that makes sense mm -hmm. so let me ask you so since you're in tech are you nervous or afraid let's say i'm gonna use both of those are you nervous and afraid that ai could replace you and what you do i am not nervous um, I just would like to kind of like keep up to date with like the things that are going on and just kind of see how they are using the AI mm -hmm. and like work areas and the resort and just what are the uses of AI. Mm -hmm. um, and the more traction it gains, it's just more conversation for everyone to talk about and then people will start thinking like, oh, like, so what are we going to do if this happens? Because people already started talking about like um, certain countries, they have like fully automated restaurants mm -hmm. like you know like no servers or things of the sort so it's very interesting mm -hmm. and it's just something to keep tabs on so when you say you're staying up to date on technology what exactly are you doing to stay up to date with the next movements in the fourth industrial revolution on artificial intelligence and other developing technologies what exactly are you doing so i try to do a little by little i don't like to mm -hmm. overwhelm myself because i work a lot mm -hmm. um, but just kind of seeing up to date with like articles like if i'm like on social media like sometimes i'll just like look up like sometimes on my feed like um something in the tech would come up and like something i know i don't know i would like google it look at it a little bit just to have like some type of knowledge on it mm -hmm. so if a conversation were to spark up i can integrate myself in the conversation mm -hmm. but yeah just knowing like a little bit of everything mm -hmm. i don't do it every day but mm -hmm. I try my best to like, when I see it, I'll look into it so I'm, you know, aware. Well, that's good that you're staying up to date. Now, besides right now with artificial intelligence, everything going on, have you previously heard about artificial intelligence? What I'm asking is before, let's say we're in 2024 right now, what year did you really start to hear about AI? Mm, like 2020. after COVID. <laughs> what exactly yeah. did you hear about it? Um, I heard a few things like um, there, like I follow like some pages on Instagram, and like uh -huh. they'll have like they'll just kind of keep you up to date with the 